welcome to day four of the 12 Days of Adam Sandler, where we'll be looking at Sandy Wexler, who is a talent manager in L.A. That's really just Adam Sandler doing a funny voice for two hours, who has a variety of interesting clients. The synopsis of the movie implies or kind of seems like it's going to be a set of comedic vignettes kind of following each client, but after 20 minutes of the movie, I quickly realized that it was not that, and I was very disappointed. Because uh, overall, it's it's a love story, and for being listed as a comedy under Netflix uh, Netflix's categories, uh, it's pretty minimal on, on the laughs. But yeah. Wexler finds a talent played by Jennifer Hudson, who, of course, he catches feels for, and she becomes a huge star and drops him as a manager. But but it's it's fine, because they end up together in the end. The ending message is about... Uh, how you should stick with people who love you for who you are and genuinely lift you up, as opposed to momentary relationships based on infatuation and lust for fame, I think? I could be wrong on that. There's there's a boatload, absolute boatload of uh, celebrities, great celebrities in this movie. There's uh, Mike Judge, Conan, Baba Booey, Gary Delabate, uh, ah, ah, fuck. Um, guy from Curb Your Enthusiasm. And uh, stupid ass Big Chin Leno was not happy to see him anyway uh the story is introduced by several different celebrity cameos of them describing the character of sandy wexler uh yeah so wikipedia says sandy wexler is based off of adam sandler's real life manager I have no clue if that's true or not, though, so don't quote me on that. You did not hear that on Take Down the Internet. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of a shame all these celebrities got together to do this because, um, as I said, my disappointment was heartbreaking. It's directed by Steve Brill, who brought us Little Nicky, Drillbit Taylor, and a skit in Movie 43. So, Brill isn't known for his super captivating movies or anything. This is kind of the thing he's known for. If you look up Sandy Wexler, you're going to find pretty neutral reviews, but I don't know, guys. I This one just didn't really make the cut for me. Uh, it's not a good sign when you find yourself uh, checking to see how how much time is left several times throughout the movie. It did not have to be two hours long. It did not have to be two hours long. Oh, yeah. I had mad deja vu during the photo shoot scene. Uh, I, sh I had to have been there in a dream before or something. But, yeah, the, the Beavis and Butthead skit at the end was cute. Uh, the wardrobe was good. I appreciated the effort and energy they put into the clothes. But, uh... Other than that, I found the movie to be pretty boring and unfunny.